was smart and funny and very impulsive. He needs to borrow cash, 30,000. 140,000 dollars. His life depended on me. No idea what he's capable of. We needed to get payback. This is something I'm actually quite ashamed of, but because before this happened to me and I could just read this about scam, I, like my first thought would be like, oh my God, if you're that stupid, just blame yourself. And I'm really embarrassed to say this, that this is was how I used to be thinking before. And now realizing that it really can happen to anyone, it, it's like, I am embarrassed, to be honest. It could happen to anyone who has empathy. Any person who have a lot of empathy in them, those are the ones that they target because so for example, Simon, for example, he doesn't have any empathy. He has a disorder, you know, he doesn't feel empathy. So for a person like me and Cecilia and Eileen, for example, have a lot of empathy for other people, we are very easy targets. I try to not let it affect me so much. So I am not as bad as I was 2019. Now I can still like have trust a little bit of trust in people but still like if someone does something really nice to me it can still pop up in the back of my head like is this like an evil hidden agenda why they're doing it and i don't want to be like that but i always say i have good times and bad times in my life and now they're more good than bad but i'm still traumatized from everything that happened we never did this, you know, to start a campaign or start a GoFundMe. It was just a lot of people asking for it. And then we noticed there were so many fake ones opening up as well. Of course, there were genuine ones, but there were also fake ones. So after we had a discussion with GoFundMe, um, they also said if we made an official one, that would go away. And of course, we're very grateful for everyone that has helped us. I mean, like, I am going to be forever grateful. Cecilia, she's like my best friend and my soulmate. So we sometimes say that we have sit in so many nights and just thinking like, what if this like never happened to us? We would never have met. I mean, like, what would we change? Like, not that I want this to happen to anyone, but I mean, like, otherwise I wouldn't have met my best friend I have today. So sometimes I want to think like all the bad things that happen in your life, that happen for a reason. I know it sounds so goofy, but I also want to believe in, in karma in a way. So we right. make this joke. <laughs> so we make this joke sometimes like you can't put a price on friendship, but we can say an exact amount on our friendship. <laughs> He just genuinely don't care about anyone besides himself. If you can hear him talking even now in the interview, this has been very hard for me. <laughs> and it's just me, me, me. 